Listen, if we hurry, we can get there before the paper is even delivered to Rarity's house. Maybe she won't read the article. I'm pretty sure Rarity's gonna read a review of her new boutique in Manhattan. I still can't believe we all just blabbed everything that happened to that reporter. I just hope it doesn't end up being an article about how her friends almost ruined the opening. I think you're all overreacting. Rarity's our friend. If any pony is gonna understand, it'll be her. I was wondering when all of you were going to show up. <gasps> now we can all read the review together! Um, I have an idea. How about we don't read it? What she means is, before you read it, we should probably tell you about... No, no, darling! Please, no spoilers! But... No spoilers! Tons of fun A beautiful heart, faithful and strong Sharing kindness It's an easy feat And magic makes it all complete You have mine Do you know you are my very best friends? Now, is every pony ready to hear what I'm sure is a a review that describes in stunning detail exactly how each of you contributed to the successful opening of Rarity for you? <clears throat> Many a pony has tried their hoof at joining the ranks of the elite fashion trendsetters currently ensconced in the boutiques of Manhattan's famed Saddle Row. <laughs> Some might say it's the ultimate achievement in equestrian fashion, and never before has a reporter been granted such unfettered behind the scenes until now! I wish it had been more fettered. Oh, uh, I sat down with <laughs> Rarity and her friends after the opening to get the inside scoop. And what a scoop it was! Okay, Kit, you successfully opened a shop in Manhattan, and that's no mean feat. Most ponies might wonder what it feels like. Here's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna interview you and your friends so I can paint a picture of how it all came together. A word picture, mind you, not an actual picture. Any questions? Well, I was wondering how... Let's get started. Ms. Rarity, you got shops all over Equestria, but this was your first time trying to make it in the big city. What made you think you could tackle it on your own? Well, I wouldn't say all over Equestria. I just have two other boutiques, one in my hometown of Ponyville and one in Canterlot. Uh, still, when I decided to open this one, I was nothing but confident. Let's just say that if I could choose, I probably wouldn't do it that way again. Well, it wasn't the funnest party ever. It was a plum puckered pig pushing disaster. After a lifetime of awesome, I think every pony's allowed to mess up every now and then, right? Wait, are you writing this down? Um, it didn't go exactly how I thought it would, but it, um, started out all right. Welcome to Saddle Row! An entire street line with the most fashionable boutiques in all of Equestria. If it's supposed to be the most fashionable block of shops, where's Stinky Bottom's Discount Hat Emporium? I suppose it didn't make the cut. <gasps> Here it is! Rarity for you! Rarity, it's lovely. But are you sure you'll be ready to open tonight? over a mere moderate amount of preparation. My clothes arrive soon, my sales associate after that, and with a little dusting, we'll be ready for the grand opening tonight. Rarity, so good to see you. Your store, it's going to be a very good place, I think. <laughs> Mr. Stripes owns the building. He's a very pleasant landlord. Although he can be pushy at times. Okay, all the time. You've met my daughter? The apple of my ear. The hay in my hoof. You will let her work with you. It's just... I'm dreadfully busy preparing for tonight's grand opening, as 
you can see... Uh... There are only two things I love more than being pushy. One is my daughter, the other is miniature doll furniture. And I would sell my entire mini furniture collection to make my daughter happy. You understand? I'm sorry, I just don't think it's going to be possible. Let me say another way. Hire her or I raise rent until you no can afford. Oh, uh, welcome aboard! Junior found a nice home in the crawl space behind the building, but Mr. Stripes demolished it so they were temporarily camped out in the back until they found a new place to live. No, no, no! I can't have a family of rubbish-scented raccoons living in my boutique! Uh, did you hear that? <sighs> Turns out there's a club pony party palace upstairs. Turns out there's a club pony party palace! to their so-called music far too loud. I realize that makes me sound like an old mayor. But this is business! I wish we were having as much fun as they are. Well, sweeping can be fun too. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, 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 sweep. Only Twilight could make a dance remix about sweeping. I mean, how lame is that? Yeah, it wasn't even catchy. Nope. Sweet, 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 sweet. Apparently, DJ Pony 3 has a residency at the party palace upstairs, but security won't let me speak to her. Ah! What in the name of Celestia was that? You know how most stores have a little jingle bell when the door opens? I thought we should have something with a little more pizzazz. So I installed one of Daddy's antique horns. Uh, we'll have to do something about that. After I think of a way to quiet down that music. And after I finish designing the window display. Ah! Wait. Is this my merchandise shipment from Ponyville? It's completely disorganized! Gesundheit! Oh, Miss Pommel! I'm so glad to see you! Now as the sole sales associate at Rarity for you, I hate to add to your already overflowing plate of responsibilities, but it looks as though we have just a tad more to do before tonight than I thought. Actually, I... I can't work tonight. Oh, why not? Feel better, my sweet. We'll manage without you, somehow. And we'll manage glowing teeth and car horns and disorganized clothes and dance music. Am I forgetting anything? <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Well, opening a store in Manhattan is a pretty big deal. It's natural that Rarity would be a little stressed about how it was going, since it wasn't going well. Still, I think she handled it all right. The dream is doomed! Doomed, I tell you! 
I know things haven't gone perfectly so far, but we've done this kind of thing before. If we all work together, we I appreciate the offer, but this is Manhattan. To make it in the fashion scene here, everything has to be perfect. The perfect location, the perfect clothes, the perfect opening. Maybe we should just postpone. Postpone? Darling, tonight is the last night of the fall season. If we don't open tonight, it won't be... <sighs> perfect. Yes, I know what needs to be done. I just need more of me. Oh, how I wish I could make copies of myself. Yeah. Making copies of yourself always sounds like a great idea, but before you know it, you're locked in a room with 50 Pinkie Pies watching paint dry. We can do this, and we can stay true to your vision. You do that? Fluttershy, you'll handle those strong-smelling raccoons for me? Of course. Leave plaid stripes to me. I'll handle her and her, uh, good ideas. <laughs> and I can go upstairs to that non-stop party that tons of fun and you can take and set up party cannons and... <clears throat> and then make them be quiet. I'm pretty sure I know some pony who wouldn't mind organizing this merchandise shipment for you. I'm talking about myself. Oh, please, let me organize it. This all sounds splendid, but I don't even have a single employee, and I'll need the best of the best. Leave the hiring to me. Oh, this is it, my dears. If you can handle these problems, I'll focus on the designs for the front window display. We'll show Manhattan what rarity for you is all about. Oh, what would I do without you? What would she do without us? <laughs> Let me think. Darlings, I'm absolutely doomed! 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 <laughs> I sounded just like her. Hey, you're not writing this down, are you? Now for the perfect window display. traditionally made from silk, so... yeah. I don't know the first thing about clothes. Pretty much all I can do is look at something and tell you if it's clothes or not. This chair? Not clothes. See if you can keep up with me here. What are all clothes made of? Uh, fabric? Bingo! But not in this store. Uh-uh, not anymore. Oh, no? Two words for you. Spoon clothes. All our clothes will be made of spoons! <sighs> what would Rarity want? You know, I like you, plaid stripes. If it were up to me, we'd have a spoon clothes store right next to Stinky Bottom's Discount Hat Emporium. But it ain't up to me. So, the answer is no. Personally, I think spoon clothes ain't such a bad idea. Useful, too. Eating soup, stirring gumbo, digging little holes. There. Perfect. Although, what would Rarity want? Maybe she wouldn't like it done by color. Guess I have to start over! Hello, 
Smokey, Soft Pad, Smokey Jr., I have some interesting news. I, oh, I'd like you all to stay here forever, but what would Rarity want? You have to move out! <laughs> A window display is the first thing customers see. And if they like it, they'll walk inside and experience the glory that is my boutique. Uh, I don't know which one of you to hire. Just keep guessing fabrics. Daddy, Rarity's friend doesn't like my ideas. Spoon close. It's a good idea. Oh, no. Not a shopping music mashup. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. write the story, could you maybe skip over the part where we locked Rarity in the window display? <laughs> Hello? The door appears to be stuck! Yep, we're working on it! Hmm. Well, we shouldn't let this time go to waste. <laughs> How did this happen? I shut down the party! I told Plaid Straps no! I asked the raccoons to leave. I asked a lot of fabric questions. Just, Just like I thought Rarity would want. Rarity asked us to help her with everything because she knows all of us so well. She knows how much you care for animals. She'd trust you to solve the problem your way. Maybe we should all do the same. Doing this our way is what Rarity wants. It's not too late. Let's all dig in and we can fix this. Before Rarity finds out how bad we messed up. I'm sorry I asked you to leave. The place is yours, if you want to stay. Though, I would like to ask you all just one favor. I'm sorry I made you play that unfun, super boring music. But if you're up for it, I have an idea to make the party even better! Okay, I don't get fabric. But I do get speed. And I need some pony fast enough to help all the customers Rarity is going to have. So, first one to the river and back gets the job. It's a race. Go! <clears throat> Mr. Straps, I owe your daughter an apology. She's got good ideas, and I should give them a chance. So here's what I'm thinking. Perfect. Well, looks like we fixed that door just in time. <gasps> oh, what's all this? The whole place organized by style, cross-referenced by size, and reverse-indexed by fabric. She'll be able to find anything in three seconds flat. It was some of my best work. Oh, I knew I could count on you. All right, I suppose this is the moment of truth. Rarity for you is now... Oh dear, I wasn't quite prepared for such a crowd. How will I handle them all? My name's Blue Bobbin. I'll be your personal shopping assistant this evening. Right this way, every pony. And one of our talented sales ponies can help you out. Honestly, they were all pretty slow, but they finished the race. Plus, they knew a lot more about fabric than I did. So, I hired them all! The way I see it, Rarity designs fashion, DJ Pwn 3 designs beats. What better combination than a boutique dance club? After a quick bath, they were more
more than willing to help. Ah, a blue corn reduction with shallot confit. But how can I possibly enjoy it without a... Spoon? <laughs> Told you spoon clothes ain't such a bad idea. Mm. Mm. Exquisite. This is the most whimsical and wonderfully fashionable boutique I've ever seen. Oh, wow. In the end, Rarity's grand opening was a smashing success. True, it got off to a rocky start, but somehow this ragtag group of ne'er-do-wells... Oh, heavens, I think he means you. ...came together and created the perfect boutique, a vision of Rarity, combined with the expertise of her friends. <laughs> this reporter, for one, is a believer. Why didn't you tell me there were so many problems? We all figured you had enough on your mind. And we didn't want you to think that the opening wasn't perfect. <laughs> Ne'er-do-wells or not, I know I can always count on all of you. And nothing could be more perfect than that.